Hello everybody, today I've got with me a Cars 2 lights and sound toy. It's Professor Z from Disney Pixar Cars 2. And basically just like Rod Torque Redline and everyone else in the series, it has working headlights and an activation button. So that is very cool. Uh, I saw this at Walmart, so I had to pick it up. Uh, they also had Holly Shiftwell, the talking one, so that was cool. I didn't pick that up because I'm not really a fan of her dialogues. And, um, yeah, Th let's open this up. So here he is, Professor Z, or Z, uh, out of the package. And, uh, so once again, it's a beautiful die-cast vehicle. You can look at the rust at the bottom of his car, of the car. He's got his, uh, mouth open. He has this, um, his eyeglass, I guess you could call it. It's actually, whoa, that's not cool. It's actually made out of, uh, plastic. Uh, um, yeah, plastic. It's not glass. So, check out his license plate. I thought that was pretty funny. Bad GA58. I don't know what GA58 is supposed to stand for, but it must mean something. Uh, this is the bottom. And this is the button you press to make him talk. Yeah, it's kind of scary. I don't know, when did he say that in the movie? That's my favorite quote, and uh, I wish they put the uh, the line where he says, uh, "Lightning McQueen cannot win the race." That was a pretty cool quote as well, but he doesn't say that unfortunately. So it works the same as all other Cars 2 lights and sounds. Uh, if you don't like what he says, just change it by pressing again. Let's have some fun. Give it up. Now, the toast to the sleep night. Yeah, and if you hold the button for two or three seconds the lights stay on and then to turn it off just press it once again yeah and so that would be ba that's basically it and uh, so how does he compare with the other lights and sound toys he actually looks pretty big compared to the others which is uh, surprising uh, if I'm not mistaken the regular diecast vehicles that do not talk I think the Professor Z is much smaller than this I mean Look at this, he's taller than Finn McMissile? Say what? Same with Rod Torque Redline. And he's gonna fall down and die. Nope. Saved ya. Oh, well, let me catch him. Okay. But yeah, so, scale-wise, uh, yeesh, not very accurate, I guess. And that's kind of a turn-off, because uh, he looked much better inside the package than uh, outside. So, but yeah. I guess uh, they had to make them big in order to fit all the uh, talking mechanics and whatnot. I'm not an engineer. I don't know how this stuff works, but but that would be it, anyways. So uh, thank you for watching. And indeed, we will.